It's time for the big battle, the North versus the South. No, this isn't some sort of Game of Thrones thing. We aren't talking about the Iron Throne. We're talking about who has the better players, the North of England or the South. To find out, we've put together a North 11 based on players who are applying their trade in the North of England and South 11 based on players who are applying their trade in the South. Simple. There's a poll in the top right corner of the screen so you can have your say. So without further ado, here's the North 11. Representing the North in between the sticks is David De Gea. Probably the easiest decision in both the North and the South 11, there's no keeper in the top half of the country that can even lay a glove on the Spaniard, with Jordan Pickford probably his closest rival. At right back it's Nathaniel Klein. The first Liverpool player in this side, Klein is one of the best right backs in the country and was a pretty safe bet here. If injury hadn't ended Seamus Coleman's season early, then maybe he could have rivaled the Liverpool man, while Antonio Valencia was also in contention. Ahmed El Mohamedi was not. Our first centre back is Vincent Company. Man City just looks so much tighter at the back since the Belgian returned fitness. No offence John Stones. Company is a leader and that's what the North needs and there's no doubt that Vinny is one of the best centre backs around when he's at his best. His partner proved to be an issue though. Eric Bailly has had an impressive first season in the Premier League and we all know how good Ashley Williams can be, while Ben Gibson and Michael Keane have both had good seasons. However, we're going to go with Liverpool's Joel Matip which means we've got two of Jurgen Klopp's men at the back which is hard to believe because they've barely been solid defensively this year. At left back we head over to the blue part of Merseyside with Leighton Baines. The England international is one of two toffees in this side and Baines has probably been the most consistent left back in the north for the past few years and he's a massive mod. If you don't know what that is, ask your dad. In midfield we've got Kevin De Bruyne. The man to unlock the southern defence, De Bruyne is the most creative player in the Premier League this season. He's so creative he could assist you in anything from shopping to exams, he'd probably even make the perfect wingman on a night out. Next up, it's Paul Pogba. Before you all get your niggers in a twist and tell me that Lee Catamol or your mate from Sunday League should be in there, don't. The final member of our midfield three is David Silva. The little Spaniard is a magician with the ball at his feet and it would be a crime to leave him out of this side. Man City fans should take a minute every day just to sit and realise how lucky they are that they get to watch Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva play for their team every week considering they've previously had to settle for Willow Flood in Giorgio Samaras. There are so many good players in the north of England, meaning that there are some players who would walk into most teams but haven't made the cut here. Philippe Coutinho came so so close, while Zlatan Ibrahimovic has had to miss out too. Leroy Sané has had an excellent second half of the season, and Jermaine Defoe has had another remarkable year, despite being bottom of the league with Sunderland. So while you begin to tell us we're wrong and such and such should be in the team, our front three begins with Sadio Mane. Liverpool man's had a fantastic debut season at Anfield, becoming probably the most integral player in their free-flowing front three. Good job Liverpool signed all these players from Southampton, otherwise the South team would batter the North. Next it's Sergio Aguero. It was a close call between him and Zlatan, it really was. At the end of the day though, little Sergio scored more Premier League goals this season than the Swede, so that just pips him to the post, and that's even with Ibra's huge nose. Aguero is a world class finisher and one of the best out and out strikers on the planet. Again, City fans, don't forget you used to rely on Darius Vassell for goals. And the final member of the North 11 is Romelu Lukaku. Not only is the top scorer in the North right now, he's the top scorer in the entire Premier League, therefore there was no chance we could leave him on the bench. So that's the North 11, consisting of two Man United players, three Liverpool players, two Everton players, and four Man City players. Let's move on to the South. In goal was a difficult choice, Thibaut Courtois is obviously a fantastic goalkeeper, while Petr Cech has been one of the best in the country for more than a decade. We're going to go with Hugo Lloris though, with the Frenchman's distribution and commanding of his box giving him the edge over the Chelsea and Arsenal stoppers. Right back is another Spurs player, Kyle Walker. The England international has developed into a fine player under Pochettino, having initially looked like a player who just relied on his pace, a little bit like Hector Bellerin. Unfortunately for Chelsea, Victor Moses isn't an out and out right back, while West Ham, Watford, Crystal Palace, Southampton and Bournemouth didn't really offer up anything special. The Tottenham trend is finally over with David Luiz at centre back. The Brazilian returned to Stamford Bridge in the summer in one of the strangest summer moves, but proved all of his doubters wrong by proving to be a menace at the back under Antonio Conte, moving the conversation away from his wacky hair, which still makes him look like Sideshow Bob. He's paired with Toby Alderweireld. While Luiz has formed a brilliant partnership with Gary Cahill and Cesar Aspilicueta, and Virgil van Dijk continues to shine in his audition for Liverpool, we're going with the Belgian who's been an absolute rock, as well as being great on the ball too. Our final defender is Danny Rose. 
While Marcus Alonso and Ryan Burton may feel slightly aggrieved, not that they're watching I imagine, we've got to go with Rose here, meaning four fifths of our back five are Tottenham players. Hey, they've got the best defence in the league, the stats don't lie. The South is blessed with so many creative players, meaning the likes of Mesut Ozil, Pedro, Christian Eriksen and Wilfried Zaha are all going to have to miss out. We begin with Aiden Hazard, one of the best players of the season, but then again he should be since he'll be so fresh after missing the season before. Regardless of the whereabouts of Aiden Hazard during the 2015-16 season, the Belgian is a genius with a football at his feet. In the middle we've got his Chelsea teammate N'Golo Kante. The Frenchman is the spine of the south side, looking to dominate the midfield battle like he always does. He could probably run from the south to the north and back in time for EastEnders if he sets off early enough. He's alongside Deli Ali. So far this season, Ali has scored 17 goals from midfield, which is more than most of the strikers in the division have managed. The youngster hasn't even reached the peak of his powers yet, which is a frightening thought if you're anyone who isn't linked with Tottenham Hotspur. Next we've got Alexis Sanchez, who is the only Arsenal player representing the South. Let's hope he fully recovers from that lip injury he picked up the other week, and that he's always wearing gloves to avoid any unnecessary paper cuts. I'd hate for the Chilean to miss out due to injury. Up front we've got Diego Costa. The Premier League's resident bully has scored more than 50 league goals during his three seasons on English shores, and will continue to do so, providing he's fed raw meat before every match, or doesn't leave Stamford Bridge and moves to the Chinese Super League. And finally, Costa is alongside Harry Kane. Tottenham's hero, he's one of their own, as they remind you every time he touches the ball. Kane has scored more than 20 Premier League goals in his past three seasons, and could go on to break some serious records if he continues at this rate. So that's the South eleven. We've got a remarkable six Tottenham players, four from Chelsea, and a lonely one from Arsenal. So that's it, the battle lines have been drawn, those are the two teams. You can vote by using the poll in the top right corner of the screen, who would come out on top, the North or the South. Thanks for watching, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, don't forget to have a vote, like, share and subscribe.